Today, we're talking about a blockchain and its impact on the retail, CPG, and digital advertising. We're going to look at the benefits of blockchain and discuss practical applications in business in those verticals. Let's briefly talk about what blockchain is. I'm not going to explain blockchain 101 or its core technology, distributed ledgers, smart contracts, hash, nodes, public key, or cryptocurrency possibly in the future videos if there's a strong interest. Instead, we're going to look at the characteristics of blockchain at a high level and its relevance to retail and CPG industries, both now and the future. In straightforward terms, we can define it as an extensive distributed database in which all types of transactions can be recorded directly between parties without the need for intermediaries in real time, securely, and with complete traceability. And let's break it down and take a look at some of the key features of blockchain. First of all, it's secure. Verifying each transaction block requires a complex mathematical algorithm to be solved. And it has no single point of failure due to the presence of multiple replicated blockchains worldwide. Therefore, it's decentralized. And it shields the system from any attempt at the falsification. Then it's transparent. Each person in the system knows what information everyone else has on the network because of its open ledger infrastructure. And third, Naturally, it's digital, allowing identical digital copies being maintained on multiple open ledgers with no centralized transaction logs, increasing the capability to audit and secure the information. And four, another good one, it's almost real time, which enables nearly instant settlement of recorded transactions, removing friction and reducing the risk. The 10,000 feet view is fine, but how about practical application use cases, especially in retail and a CPG? There are multiple business uses of blockchain technology in retail and CPG, and we can categorize them into three overarching categories based on a purpose. Consumer, supply chain, payments, or transactions, if you will. Let's drill down into the consumer business use cases first. For retention and loyalty programs, blockchain offers personalized targeting through capturing consumer data and shopper journey behavior. About targeted recalls, CPGs and retailers can identify products that are unsafe or contain defective parts to issue the targeted calls. This way, disruption to customers will be reduced, also the cost for the recall process. Then you can locate stolen products with blockchain. How? You can tag your products and their authenticity could be verified and activated on the blockchain. Currently in use for luxury goods, electronics and limited edition products. And if one of those products gets stolen or missing, it can be traced through the transactions, notifying its legitimate owner of its location. Brands like Chanel, Cartier, Louis Vuitton deploys blockchain technology for locating stolen products. Then you can deliver enhanced connected services on blockchain. Basically, brands can provide guaranteed aftercare services and warranties. Those services can be based on the predefined contracts and the agreements stored and executed on the blockchain. Currently in use in high ticket fitness equipment, cars and some electronics. Now let's take a look at the second overarching category, supply chain business use cases. With connected supply chain, blockchain provides an end-to-end -end supply chain solution to enable companies to order and sell, trace, and pay for goods once they arrive at their destination seamlessly. And documentation will be created, updated, viewed, or verified by the parties on blockchain who could confirm receipt of goods on receipt and the port authorities, for example, enabling shipment tracking. The payments could be also be initiated seamlessly between the parties throughout the process based upon agreements. As an extension, connected IoT sensors and smart devices could measure the condition of containers and other information that can be recorded on the blockchain and inform final settlements in case the goods get damaged. Delivery is also another use case of blockchain. With the growing trend of home delivery, growing trust and security demand can be met with blockchain tracing technology. Autonomous vehicles and unmanned drones across the supply chain and the consumer journey can increase public safety with this tracking capability. And of course, probably the most impactful business use case of the blockchain, payments and contract use cases. So you can accept consumer payments on blockchain, obviously. It allows consumers to save time and money on secure and fast payments using cryptocurrencies or by facilitating cheaper, faster validation of credit payments, eliminating the fees currently incurred by the banks or the credit card companies. There are a few major companies that are currently accepting Bitcoin as credit cards become less and less used online. Whole Foods, Home Depot, Starbucks, Microsoft and Tesla are currently offering cryptocurrency payment options for different services. And you can make B2B payments on blockchain. Companies can use smart contracts to replace traditional ACH or credit lines. 
and blockchain simplify the transaction process for them between the financial institutions, speeding up the process and reducing the intermediary cost and the risk. And blockchain also facilitates cross-border payments and can be used to guarantee payment of duties and other taxes. And very dear to me, digital advertising on the blockchain. It improved the transparency around real-time bidding for digital advertising space by providing a full audit trail of data. This will allow ad buyers and sellers to verify campaign execution and engagement targets accurately and claim rebates based on a failed implementation. Besides, blockchain could be the answer to fraud and many other trust-related issues that plague digital advertising. It could enable real-time trusted data while providing consumers with more relevant ads and stronger privacy rights. I repeat, more relevant ads and a stronger privacy right. Isn't this all the rage in digital advertising lately? Then let's talk about some action here. How does a successful blockchain implementation in digital advertising look like? So step one, integrated marketing has the ultimate power to automate and scale brand trust. If we can communicate this to our business partners and stakeholders, we can get their alignment for blockchain implementation. Then step two, we can start with the low-hanging fruit where OTT media and in-app advertising require users to log in with personal credentials. So it's a good beachhead for trusted data and identity on the blockchain. Step three, like every double-sided platform, digital advertising delivers more value with more participants on each side. But we don't need to go too broad too early. We can start with a small group of collaborators on a well-defined problem to demonstrate the proof of concept because blockchain is already built to scale down the road anyway. And step four, integrated marketing applications in place can benefit from monitoring and replicating the success of other front runner use cases, such as supply chain safeguarding, credentials management, and some counterfeit products, propriety rights management, and food safety. So the bottom line is, blockchain technology is here, ready to roar, and it's about time to start benefiting from it. It's ability to deliver secure transactions, manage and store data securely, increase automation, could reduce fraud, increase ever-growing data reliability, and protect the privacy rights. So, where are you and your company on the blockchain journey? Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.